morning, good morning. Welcome to the Old Time Gospel Hour Facebook Live Sunday morning program. Good morning, Sister Vanessa Payne. Good morning, Brother Melvin Evans. Good cousin, Tinoria Gayfield. Good morning. Sister Ruth Miner. Good morning. Sister Marcia Whitehead. Good morning. Sister Denise Miner. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Ruth Miner. Good morning. Brother Dwayne's Gates. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Brother Vester and Sister Tippy Floyd, Brother Willie and Sister Marty Jefferson. Good morning, Brother Ronald and Sister Barbara Whitehead. Good morning, Brother Edwin Whitehead. Good morning, Sister Wanda McBain. Good morning. Good morning. Big Cousin Diane Adams, good morning. Sister Evelyn Henley, good morning. Little Cousin Deborah Long, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning also to our followers out there and our YouTube listeners. Good morning, good morning. Sister Gloria Arrington, Sylvester Willie, and Annie Rice, Brother Brian, Sister Vanessa Tate, Brother Terrell Lane, good morning, Brother Robert, Sister Gail Buchanan, Sister Juanice Mays, Brother Tony, Sister Vanessa Fitzpatrick, and Sister Theon Jones, good morning. Minister of Music, Brother Sherman and Sister Mona Hawthorne. Good morning, Sister Christine Brew. Good morning, Sister Margaret Roberts. Good morning, good morning. Sister Karen Sanford, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Sister Beverly Brown. Good morning. Sister Ollie Redden, good morning.
Good morning, Sister Henry. Cheers. Good morning. Cheers. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sister Robin Wings. Good morning. Big cousin Alice Gayfield, good morning. Sister Reva Smith, good morning. Sister Shauna, good morning. Big sister Cora Robinson. Hey, Mom. How you doing, Mom? Sister Virginia Johnson, good morning. Good morning. Regina Laddier, good morning. Sister LaRonda Raybon, good morning, good morning.
Good morning. Good morning, Brother Walter, Sister Audrey Griffin, Sister Laurie Barnes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Old Time Gospel Hour on Facebook Live Sunday morning service. This is our first Sunday, our sermon Sunday, our sermon. And our sermon this morning is a special request um, this morning. So, um, and uh, I'll have also for the third Sunday, the third Sunday is also our sermon Sunday. And I already have a special request for that sermon uh, too for, for that Sunday. Amen. Amen. Good morning, Sister Edna Randall Lane. Good morning. Good morning. All right. You just heard My God is Awesome, the Inspirational Choir with Sister Beverly Thomas leading and directing. And uh, our opening up song, the Senior Choir, God is Already Here. Sister Gracie Ann Brew, Rising Star. My God is awesome, circle of light. Amen, amen. Thank you. 
with uh, the late sister Earlene Brown leading at Rising Star. Amen. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Good morning, Sister Stacy, honey. Good morning. Good morning, Brother Trenton Wynn. Uh, Brother Ron and Sister Brenda McGee. Good morning. Big Sister Ruthie Williams. Good morning. Good morning. Sister Marilyn and Sister Sean Stuckey, good morning. I'm 
glad that God made me. I'm glad man didn't make the sunshine. Good morning, Sister Patricia Graham. I'm glad man didn't make the raindrops for he may forget to order the grains. I'm glad about it. Man didn't create me, for surely, surely forsake me. I'm glad, so glad about it, glad, glad that God made Somebody is out here, wanna know you today, I know you 
Amen. Amen. I'm glad that God made me. Amen. Inspirational choir with uh, Brother Norman Gordon leading a circle of light. Amen. Amen. Good morning, little niece, uh, Sister Davis. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Uh, I'm going to do the announcements right now. Uh, we're sending happy birthdays out. Happy birthdays. Uh, uh, I have uh, two from yesterday. Uh, a brother, Mark Patton Sr., happy birthday. Uh, his birthday was yesterday. I didn't know. And happy heavenly birthday, Sister Carolyn Jones. The uh, Yes, Sister Carolyn Jones' birthday was yesterday. Happy heavenly birthday. Sunday, today, May the 1st, happy birthday. My niece in Arizona, Yolanda Thompson, Washington. Sister Robin Weems, happy heavenly birthday. Mother Evelyn Shaw, that's Brother Melvin Evans' grandmother. And happy heavenly birthday, Sister Lodora Brown. Uh, that's um, Sister Marilyn Stuckey's sister. Amen. Uh, Tuesday, May the 3rd, Sister Sharon Hall. Uh, Jimmy Braxton, Brother Jimmy Braxton, Sister Marcia Whitehead's son, and Brother Chuck McDowell. Wednesday, May the 4th, Sister LaRonda Raybon and my nephew James Williams. Happy birthday. Friday, May the 6th, uh, Brother Bryant Barnes, that's Sister Laurie Barnes' son. Saturday, May the 7th, Sister Jackie Little birthday. And next Sunday, May the 8th, Sister Erica Gordon Walker. Amen. We're sending prayers out to Brother Walter and Sister Audrey Griffin, Sister Regina Lattier, Sister Marilyn Stuckey, Brother Edwin Whitehead, Sister Marjorie Hutchinson, Brother Madi Reed, uh, Brother Willie Robinson, Brother Alfred Pickens, Sister Chanel Miles, Brother Pete Williams, Sister Genevieve Sadler, Sister Gloria Arrington, Brother Theron Smith, Sister Gracie Ann Brew, Brother Andrew Robertson, Sister Emma Dyson, Sister Deborah Hubbard, Sister Olivia Rucker, Sister Yasmin Arrington, Sister Marilyn West, Sister Bernice Williams, Sister Gloria Lewis, Vivian Daly, Brandon Taylor, Maurice Washington, Emmanuel Reed, Jonathan Cobb, Valerie Smith, Mr. Pat Moffitt, and Lee Jensen. Also to all of the sick and confined and the homeless, the COVID patients, and especially going out to the bereaved families. Also, we're praying for each other and we're praying for this whole world. Okay. Okay. Sister Deborah Hubbard is in the Stonebridge Senior Living Facility, 2963 Doddridge Avenue, Maryland Heights, Missouri, 63043. She's in room 117. Sister Olivia Rucker is in the Del Mar Gardens North, 4401 Parker Road, Florissa, Missouri, 63033. And she's in room 303. Funeral announcement for Sister Sharon Kimball Laney is incomplete at this time. She passed uh, Thursday. She is the daughter of the late Reverend James and the late Sister Christine Kimball, the mother of uh, Sister Carlotta Kimball, Sister Christina Kimball, uh, Lamont and the late Sister LaMonica Williams. She is the sister of Sister Janita Anthony, Sister Donna Phillips, Sister Martha Lockett, and the late Sister Regina Moore.
If you need legal help, call Legal Services of Eastern Missouri, 314-361-8834 or the Eviction Hotline, 314-534-4200. If you're behind on your rent and you'd like to schedule a payment arrangement or a mediation between yourself and your landlord, call St. Louis City Resolution Center, 314-255. 7440 or St. Louis County Mediation Project 314-833-0226. And as always, thank you for sharing the program and thank you also for letting others know about the Old Time Gospel Hour on, the, on uh, Facebook Live. Also, thank you for letting others know about YouTube, the Old Time Gospel Hour on YouTube. Uh, letting them know that those that are not on Facebook, they can go to YouTube and look at the pre-recorded programs and listen to the good music on YouTube. Amen, amen. Also, let them know to subscribe and hit the uh, notification button so that when I upload new programs, they'll be able to, uh, it'll let them know. This is our first Sunday we have a special request for our sermon today, and we have a special request for our third Sunday program. Amen. Amen. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Sister Lala. Good morning, Brother Otis West. Good morning, uh, Sister Marcia. I thought I said Brother uh, Jerry Braxton. That's what I have down. Um, Jerry Braxton. Amen. Amen. All right. We are getting ready to go into our um, Sister Lillian Jones. Good morning. We're getting ready to go into our sermon. And as you know, I do not talk during the sermon. So, amen. Amen. <laughs>
until my time to talk back in. Yes and no is what the argument was. Everything he said, I had to know. Everything he come up with, I had to know. Finally, I said, I got to talk back in. I'm, I'm, I'm an operator. <laughs> got to get back to my apartment. We can go. He said, well, would it be all right if we take your name in? Oh, I must. I said, you, you can go ahead and take it. Oh, Lord. So that's it. Melvin said, if I can get one man to stand still and let you know you got to have some help. And by God, don't say anything. God, send somebody to help you, but he'll get somebody. You don't have to beg nobody. Oh, this is, I'm, I'm going down the line now. This is how we got where we at, men. You all listening? This is why we are up here this morning. Some of these things you need to know. Uh, to keep this a history and teach it to your children and your children's children and the unborn generation. Every time while you are being able to shout here, somebody before your day suffer. Somebody went without. Somebody shared the minute here for you to get up here and flush your wings and think you're going somewhere and you're going to take over. Nobody will never take this over because the Holy Ghost said it. It'll take you over. Oh, how much? All that he didn't finish, I'm finished. This is a dangerous part of ground. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm setting it. I mean, we ain't worried about a lot of hollering and preaching. I want to get the truth over. Stand when the world's on. That man named Reverend Sherman God. Better known as God's man. Better still sit direct. From God. There was a man named Shema, whose name was Shema, sent from God. I know it's wrong. Did not know it for sure. I'm here. What are you talking about? Who you going to spread? You is going to spread. You going to spread in the ground. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If I can get me one man, stand still. I'll afraid in the church. So I'll pull together. Oh, son, if I can get him straight, I can depend on him. Won't nobody sway him. Pippa, do you know that's right? Even now. Do you know it or you believe it? Nobody from nowhere will have me to vary from this coast the best of my ability and the best of my understanding. Till where you come? Who come with you? Well, this ain't what you want to hear, but this is what I want to tell you today. You ain't got nothing to do with your being here. You just one more in the number. The Spirit put it here. Peace brought us here. Not confusion. And we will not tolerate none of it. Oh, hell. I'd rather like to go. Stand outside and peep in. Now tarnish this place with evil. Are you all listening? Anytime you hit this flow from here in, 
I want you to speak with peace. I don't care who you are. You ain't got some peace in you. Don't get up here. And don't get down there. And don't get up out there. And don't get up over there. Two I'm going to skin you. This ain't no junk place. We don't want no junk up in here. This is a place where people get born again. This is why lives get straightened out. When I get on the wrong track, I come in here and get straight. Then you go mess it up. Oh, how much? I ain't talking about no with nobody. I'm talking about this is going for the whole business. There ain't no certain group or no certain people. This go from the pulpit to the door, from wall to wall, end to end. And I'm saying it for, and I'm saying it with authority. I'm aiming for this to may remain, even when I'm gone. I mean, I take my time. I want to plant it in you. Listen, without the Spirit, we ain't got nothing. How many thousand folks in here? We ain't got no spirit. We ain't got nothing. Hear how you can preach and how you can sing, how you can pray. If it ain't no spirit, you ain't got nothing. Here's what we're going to do. We're going back to the old path. Jeremiah said, get in the way. <laughs> must be. And there are six of the old path. And when you find it, walk there in. That's where we're going. What is the old path? I heard somebody say, I am the way, the truth, and the light. If any man, I would be a man. Come in by the truth. Come in by love. Come in by peace. Come in by justice. Oh, how much? About two now, Joe. I don't want nobody to shout. I want you to listen. Whether you believe it or not, I'm setting your doom today. I come out for that. Whether you believe it or not, you will never stumble over this. And I ain't mad with nobody. I'm just laying this bridge down here like I know it. Not like I believe it, like I know it. Ominous brothership. Understanding brothership. Meditating to God brothership. Suffering, human suffering I'm talking about. Brothership. Money didn't bring us here. Smartness didn't bring us here. Education didn't bring us here. Amen. 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 Is you listening? Is you enjoying it? If you can, can you stand it? If you can't, rub with it. You can't stand it, lay down. Because I'm still coming. Oh yeah, I know what I'm talking about. I was forced to know. Only way you can know God. You made to know Him. You don't read to know God. You don't pray to know God. You suffer to know God. Oh, how much? Yeah, the only way David was able to tell that man that I'll take it. Previous experience on what he had went through, not what he read. I'll 
take it. Here's why. Not because I'm David. Not because he's after you. But he's trying to defile the army of a living God. That's when I'm going to kill him. That's when I'm going to kill you. If you're trying to mess up the church. <laughs> you're trying to erase what the Holy Ghost through my daddy set up. And you're trying to erase it. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to say ashes to ashes. Now that's tough, ain't eh? Well, y'all let the truth alone then. Don't try to tarnish the truth with some junk. Listen, man, you were born again down there. Oh, by hearing the truth. By obeying a man. Look up. Call the Lord. Oh, how much. How's I come with you? Tell him I said so. That's how I come with him. Do like I tell you. Don't come out, bring it back here. That's how I come with him. And we were blinding in dark. Couldn't find our way. Looked like all hope was gone. But God, by himself, told somebody to tell me there's a man over there. Give him sight to him, God. Oh, how much? Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. But my way was so dark that I couldn't see. Oh, how much? But I heard somebody say, go down on Second Street. Oh, how much? You don't have to go along with me. I'll tell you by myself. He sent me to preach. He didn't say you were going to help me. Told me to preach it, and I'll be with you. Always, even to the end of the world. How much? You need to pray for me. I'll make it by myself. Mm, you may not feel like praying. Oh, how much? You need to say amen if you don't want to. I'll make it anyhow. Let all men be alive, but my word will stand forever. This place here is planted and founded on God's word. And I happen to be a member. Oh, I'm glad about it. I happen to be a member. When it was founded here, and the preacher marched in, he invited me to come in behind Oh, how much? I didn't say how far behind, as long as I was behind. And since he was able to do that, I've been able to invite a lot of you in. Well, we ought to respect it, shouldn't we? Oh, how much? Not all are we going. How about that, brother? We ought to say, you're going. If you can't help me keep nothing in here, what good is it? What good are you? You know so much and doing nothing. What good are you? You ought to shut up. And you won't stand for nothing. You ought to shut up. God can't use you, and I can't either. Oh, how mercy. You ought to stand if you have to stand by yourself. Before you hurt, you ought to cry. That's right. This is the way of the church. Oh, you hurt somebody, you'd rather share it to you. You'd rather hurt yourself. You'd rather hurt, be hurt, and to hurt. That's the way of the church. You wouldn't bring up nothing to bring confusion in here. Oh, have mercy. Not only in here, at your house either. On the job. Why? Because I'm a member of the church. Have mercy. Ain't that right? Everywhere you go, it ought to be peace. And sometimes to may have maintained peace, you have to give up. What you call your right to make peace. Many times in my house, I've shut up 
and no doubt or right, but I'm caught in confusion. And I'm going to let it pass, but I ain't going to forget it. But I'm going to shut up now. And I'm going on and go to bed or going on in my room and sit down because confusion is not the way. Oh, how much. You can't do no good in your house with your people confused. You can't get nowhere. Listen, folks, about through now. But listen, experience is the greatest teacher in the world. Time and experience. And it takes time to get experience. Can't get experience. No way you can get to know what I know. Reading and praying and talking. And 40 some years I've been drugged through. You can't do that, though. And don't say I won't listen to you now. Don't say that. Because anybody can tell you something. Understand that. But you can't know what I know. You can't know what I know. These deacons don't know what I know. And yet they were deacons. Well, how could anybody else? How could them folks know that? Because I had to follow close up. A whole lot of them disciples didn't know what Peter knew. People would say, if I pick Reed and Mo to come and go with me most time where I go. Somebody would say, them is pets. But Jesus must have had pets too. Everywhere he went, Peter, James, and John. Even when he went in the garden of Gethsemane, he carried them all out there, didn't he? Didn't he? But he stopped there on the bunch right here. Didn't he? And said, come on, Peter, and James, and John, and come on, go over here with me. Didn't he? And then when he got a little further from their mothers, he told them, so now you stay here, Peter, and you all watch while I go over here and pray. And the scripture says he went a little further. Didn't he? Everybody can't do. When he went up on the mountain of transfiguration, who did he carry up there? Peter, James, and John. Didn't he? Up on the mountain, come on, Peter. They said Peter was ignorant, but I tell you what, Peter got more experience than anybody. He even got the key gift to it. Didn't he? Masters them along there, educated. Doctors, tax collectors, they were along there. But old ignorant Peter got the key. I know that's right. Well, old ignorant Peter got the key. So come on up here, Peter. You, James, and John. Went up, I'm going up on the mountain this morning. And come on, go up here with me. And Peter and them said, well, I'm glad he, his face shine Like the morning, the meet, midday sun. Said his raiments was so white. And Peter said, I was looking. And he unrolled and showed us that God part. And we fell as though we were dead. And Peter said, we woke up. And that was Moses and Elijah and Jesus. And Peter said, we wanted to do something. And I said, let's build three tabernacles. One for thee and one for Moses and one for Elijah. And Peter said, when I looked around and looked again, I didn't see nobody but Jesus and him only. Ain't that right? When you were born again, when you were born again, you didn't see nobody but you. You didn't see nobody else. But soon as you, you evidently now then picked up some, something else. Because you're seeing other folks now. Did you listen? And uh, they stayed up there. Somebody said, once in a while you hear somebody say, maybe Moses, I don't know what happened to Moses. Moses was lost. No, he wouldn't have been up there. He wouldn't have been there. You don't know. What would have been? 
That's when God brought him back up there on that mountain with him. And he got up there and looked, and up there Moses and Elijah. Holy Elijah was up there with the prophets. Come up with the prophecy up on Mount with Jesus. Here come old man Moses. Had the law. Here stand Jesus with grace and truth. That's all of it. Every bit of it. Oh, this is your book. This is reading I told, but we started in the basement. I'm talking today. Start in the basement. Brother Reed, through my request, did what I told him to do. We was up here one night when it was all dirty and muck and mud. I'm thinking about your, your, the betterments of you and the future for you. Me and him and Brother Dave. I said, when we go down there, Brother Reed, we'll form, I think it said two classes. But finally we changed one. One big class. And either you teach it or me. And I perform you. I didn't tell him that, but I performed him and he didn't nobody teach it but him. Whole time he But now I say, I want you to teach this Bible. I don't want nobody's opinion about all your girlfriends. Is you all listening? That was out there. And how tough you were. We want in here what thus said the Lord. And he demonstrated beautifully. And this is what I want you teachers to teach. Amen. Amen. Oh, well, your opinion don't mean nothing. Your conviction don't mean nothing. And the way you see it don't mean nothing. Jesus said, I'm the way. I'm the way. Any man come to the Father other than through by me, come as a thief and a robber. Well, man, seek for the old path. When you find it, walk there. You. Carter would seek this, what I'm talking about today. He'd have peace in the nation. Lay down your bombs and your nuclear, what you call them things? War missiles and all that stuff. Put them down. Pick up prayer. Amen. My people call by my name. Would humble themselves and pray. Seek my face. I'd hear from heaven. Heal the lands. Our lands is sick. When I say our lands, I'm talking about us. We so sick to God is cussing our future. He was taking our blessings. But God gonna get some pure service that let him keep on pulling these jobs down and shutting them up and moving them out of town. You gonna get some pure service. You ain't gonna have time to study junk. <laughs> for begging God for some bread. Oh, you need to go along. You ain't gonna have time to create frictions. For wondering why you gonna sleep at tonight. Or how long you'll be able to stay here. Oh yeah, I hate to say it either. When them cows' stomach get empty, oh no, they don't hook no more. Oh no, no. Only time they are doing a lot of hooking is when they're full and got some too much on the ground. Trough is full. The hay is trodden under their feet. Then they're just hooking each other. Oh, how much? We hook so much, we're doing, we're doing too well. Too much blessings. Oh, I know I'm right. 
We just got time to hook now. Got a good job. Bills up. Health's all right. Okay. But wait a minute! When you keep going to that feeding place, there ain't gonna be no straw down there. Ain't no salt. He, he, he ain't no salt block. You see him then start, you ever see him? Eat the dirt. Start eating the dirt. Then that man can catch him then. Oh, he can catch him then. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. He don't even have to call when he come out there. They watching for him. Oh, is you listening? But as long as their stomach's full and the, the woods is green and the fields is green, he got to look them up. He got to run them down. Wait till it come a drought and dry up everything. Even the brooks can't get no water. He don't have to look for them no more. They're looking for him. Oh, hammers. Oh, yeah, God's got to look for us now. What are we doing with it? He got to look for us. But wait a minute. The brook going to dry up. Going to pay a famine in town. How come uh, God brought a drought on the people behind Elijah's words? Of course, they wouldn't hear. They turned to idols, turned to junk, turned away from the truth. Turn away from what they used to do. Turn away from what they know to do. That's why. Well, don't you think you done did the same thing? Turn away from the rules that their forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, No, oh, you don't have to go there. I ain't asking you nothing, I'm telling you. Now, I don't want no holler. I want something to go home with you. Stick to your ribs. They brought a family. One man brought a family on the whole land. One man. Why? Because God was backing him up. Now, parent told, see, take it off after the Isle of Gods. It's easy you can get people to go wrong when they're doing well. You can run away with them when they're doing well. Because they ain't looking for nothing and they ain't taking nothing, just drifting. But they're doing well. Ha! Oh, hell. We got all this pretty flow here now, but I'm scared. That's right. Pip it, I ain't playing. I'm scared. All this junk, I'm scared. It's all right. God ain't mad about it. Even the man predicted we're going to have to have it. But don't let this mess get to our heads. All this carpet and all that. We used to crawl on the road flow. I am. Getting daddy when I go home, my knees would be dirty from trying to get to the Lord. My pants would be dirty. Crawling on that floor, begging the Lord, please stop. I ain't by myself. Some of you all know about that. Let's don't forget from whence we came. And how we got here. And who brought us? That same hand blessed can cost. Hello. Man walked up there and told that fellow, said, listen, Ahab, according to my word, he didn't say nothing about gold. According to my word. Now you can take it any way you want. Because uh, uh, Elijah knows himself who said it. It's up to you to believe anything you want. He knows who said it. But he said, according to my word. 
I'm going to set up to heaven for three years. Six months. There ain't going to be no rain and no dew. Ain't that right? You don't believe I can set it up, do you? You don't believe I can set you up? No, no. I know I can't. I know I can't. I just know I can't. Not because I don't like you. Not that. Not because you my, ain't my buddy. Not that. But because you're going against the will of God. He told me to tag you and you won't hear. I have to shut you up. Three years and six months. When he got through speaking, God walked in. Come on here, Elijah. Take you on out here. Fix you so you can be at ease. Have plenty to eat. I'm going to send it to you. And that's broke there. That's why I want you to put your tin up there. When you get to my bird, when I send you your breakfast and your dinner and your blood supper, go there and drink you some water. Go oh, ahead. Say, but they're going to need you before you need them. You're going to need me before I need you. You guys went on that. Sit down. Like John was out on the Isle of Patmos. John said, I'm out here. They carried him on a ship and stuck him off out there on the Isle of Patmos. Among the wild beasts and animals. John out there by himself. Sit down out there. He about put on a little test. Put on a little test. I'm out here. I didn't come, but they brought me. Because I was holding to the word of God. Amen. Standing for the truth. They brought me out here. Now I'm going to put on a little test. All I want to do, God. I'm going to hold this. And if you're out here, breathe on it. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Now you're sitting out there. Waiting on God. So you got to wait on God. For a dinner. God knew where he was. See, God don't need nobody. He sent it by a bird. He go over there. He's sitting over there by that tree. Take his breakfast. Hey, there. After a while, he go over there and give him a drink of water. Then get up. Walk around out the vines. When you know God, you don't need nobody. You be happy by yourself. All you want to know is you with me. That's all you want to keep up with. Find out is God with you. After a while, the water dried up. God, the people talking about you. God sent me here. And nobody didn't know you was coming. God didn't send you. Oh, no. God is able to have somebody waiting on you. Oh, yeah. They don't have to know you. They don't have to like you. They don't have to love you. They don't have to be your friend. But God sent me. And you're going to receive me. Get up now, Eli. I done already made reservations. Don't go pushing your way in. God sending you somewhere. He makes a reservation. I'm by the Bible. This is Bible. I ain't, I ain't agitating. I'm not insinuating. I'm with the Bible. I'm going to lay with you. You lay with me. That's what you do. You need to tell me to lay nowhere. You can lay with me. Right. But I'm going to lay with you. Then make sure you can lay with me. <laughs> That's why the problem got. But I'm dedicated to lay with it. I'm nominated to lay with it. I'm anointed to lay with it. I'm chosen to lay with it. I'm sent to lay with it. I'm called to lay with it. Oh, hell. It's kind of rough today. Go 
God went on over there and made reservations for Elijah and told him to get up now. The brook's dry. Ain't no water for you. I can feed you, but the water's dry. And uh, I could put some water in there, but somebody else might benefit by it. But no, you're going over here. So now I'll tell you what I done did, Elijah. I done already got your room at a widow's house. I done already rented for you. And the rent's up. Oh, you do well. How will I know when I get there? Well, you know why the city is, don't you? Do you know why them gates is? Yeah, Lord. Well, as soon as you step inside the gate, Elijah, look, and you'll see a woman picking up sticks. So you call her. Oh, have God ain't weak, man. Now I just stepped on over there. There was that woman picking up sticks. So she pulled. She ain't got nothing. But uh, she got a place. And I done made a room in the upper room. Up there. I rented the upper room for you. Amen. And when you get there, you tell her, because she fixed the cook. When you get there, she'll be just getting ready to cook. And you tell her when she cook to bring you the face. Oh, hell. She fixed the cook a last. That's what she's going to take. She fixed the cook a last. When he called to her, bring me a morsel of bread. She said, I'm out here now picking up sticks. I'm thinking to cook my last for me and my son. And we're going to get ready to die. I don't have no oil in my crew. Just a little. So that's what I'm thinking to do. Preacher said, I'll tell you what you do. Go ahead on and do what you say. But when you get through, bring me the first. Ain't that something? For his name got but a little bit now. And done told you that. And here you come talking about bring me the first. And I'm telling you, I ain't got enough for me and myself. But obedience. You can't see by the preachers. All you do, obey. And if you don't come out, then you got to complain. Oh, how much? If you can see why I can see, you don't need me. God's going to show you the same thing he showed me. That means you got two or three leaders at the same. You ain't never seen no two or three shepherds leading no one flock. Never have seen nothing in the Bible. Because the car creates a confliction with the sheep. It messes up the sheep. Well, uh, you know how to go along with it. So Eli went on in there. And uh, she did that. And the Bible said, that vow just kept on me, Lord. Just kept on coming in the back. Just kept on. And all the crew got killed. She had to go borrow something. And the wall just kept on running. Till the Holy Ghost shut it off. Ain't that right? Uh -huh. And then her son got sick. And died. Uh, while the preacher was dead. See, there's something you have to do to get the re recognition of people. You, can, they, you can't get that donated to you. You remember what I told you all when Reverend passed? And I had to get up here? I don't want you to honor me like you did Reverend. Right. Didn't you? Right. Let me work for it. Right. Right. And I went far enough to say, Barry, take it my place. But he won't have the recognition of the people that I had. He got to work for it. He got to build his own. Oh, how much? He wants you to donate them. You can go buy a business. And the man that's got the business has done 50000 a week and sell it to you. You need to thank you buying that 50000 You don't know how many of them people are going to stay with you. You've got the house. You've got the stock. You've got the equipment. But you ain't got none of them people. Oh, how much? Is you listening? This is based on my mirrors. What I put up has got you all sitting here. How many people in here now uh, 
got converted since uh, Reverend wasn't here. Stand up. All them got converted since Reverend was gone. Stand up. Now look. That's what I suffered. I look it over. That's what I suffered. That's what I had to cry for. You can sit down. That's what I had to cry for. That's what I had to lay woke at night. That's what I had to beg God to help me. That what donated to me. I had to slave for that. I don't like handouts anyway. I don't like handouts. Let me work for what I do. And I can spin it right. I can wrap back and spin it. Because I work for it. Donate something. No! If I don't, don't, don't deserve nothing, don't do nothing. Elijah, when he got two, and I'm two now, brethren. Uh, and when Elijah got there, and this woman's son died. See, results is what talk, not what you can say. Result. What's the result when you get through talking? That woman's son died. She went and criticized her. Look at here, you God man. Look what you done did to me. You done brought my sins upon me and my son's dead. But tell you what you do, woman. Bring him here. Oh, Lord. Results now. Results talks. You can get up there and say anything or down here and say anything. Sound good. People be hollering, that's right. And when you get through, yeah, you too. Yeah, man. But Elijah, when this woman's son died, he said, bring him here. Take him and carry him up in his room. The room that God rented for him. And laid him on the bed that God had in the room. And then stretched himself out. When he got up, the son got up. Oh, how much. Oh, how much. And he carried him back and handed him to his lady. Young lady. Hey, your son. She said, now I know. No, now. Use a man from God. Not on what he said, what he did. Oh, how much. Some of these people around here a few days ago had been to the doctor and they wanted to operate on the head. Just a few days ago. Told them that's the last, that's the only thing they could do is go in there. That's the only way they know to, to relieve. God told me to look. I said, come here. Bring us that head. Oh, hell. And when we got through, the head ain't hurt it no more. They talk for me. I don't have to say it. They tell it from us. They tell it for me. Ain't that right, sister? Ain't that right, sister? Ain't that right, sister? Ain't that right, my life? Ain't that right? My... Amen. And that is the end of the sermon that I have. Um, I really wish I had more of it, but that is the end of it. Uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it. And this sermon is back from 1980 and it's called Take a Stand. That is the name of this sermon. In case uh, someone would like to request it again. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed the sermon this morning and the singing. Tune in again this evening, this evening at 5.30, 5.30 p.m. for some more good gospel singing this evening. So uh, thank you. Thank you so much for listening in. And um, if uh, you would like to hear... Uh, sermons I do take requests uh, on the the sermons that I have just uh, give me 
uh, a little time to find the sermon. Uh, if you go back and you listen to a sermon that um, that you wanted to hear, just give me the date so that I can I can look that sermon up and uh, I can uh, play it again for you. Amen. So see you at five thirty this this evening. Thank you, thank you so much for listening in, and God bless.